Hello everybody, it's Fern. What's up? Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. So today I thought that it would be really fun to kind of take you through my kind of daily routine. Obviously every day isn't the exact same. If you are new here, I have over 100 houseplants. So as you can imagine, I spend a lot of time taking care of them, which I genuinely love doing. It brings me so much joy. So I'm really excited to share with you guys a just kind of good vibe, relaxed video taking you through my day. As you already saw, I did do a couple small things this morning for my plants. I opened up my blinds. As soon as the sun rises, my blinds are open. I am letting that light all the way in. My plants and I love to bask in it. Most of my grow lights are on timers, but I do have one that isn't, so I always make sure to turn that one on. And I love to just give everyone a little once over, especially while I'm either having my breakfast or having my coffee I just walk around and kind of check everyone out see if there's anything that needs immediate attention and I also it's just like a relaxing thing for me to do kind of walk around my home and admire all of my plants all right I hope that you're excited to come along the rest of my day and see what I have in store regarding my plants but first I'm going to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor in order for me to be able to stay on track with taking care of all of my plants, I need to put taking care of myself first. And a big part of that is really prioritizing my routines. I'm a very routine person and I definitely thrive the most when I am staying committed to the healthy habits that I've implemented into my life. Not only do a lot of these things help me out physically, but even more so mentally, there's something about just staying accountable and keeping promises to yourself and doing the things that you know you need to do or that you should be doing, even if it is not what you wanna be doing in that very moment. There's a lot of resistance when it comes to building up new routines. Okay, this is a very long-winded intro to today's sponsor, but I'm just like genuinely passionate about this topic. So today's sponsor is Fabulous. Fabulous is the number one self-care app to help you build better habits and achieve your goals. Sounds pretty up my alley. Like I said, building habits is hard, but Fabulous makes it a lot more fun and easy, and their approach is backed in behavioral science, so it actually works. There's two ways you can use Fabulous, self-guided or guided. Self-guided allows you to input all of your own habits. This is what I'm doing, and you can see some of the habits that I've been working and actually doing really well on here. There's also the guided option, which offers extra support regarding where and how to start. Premium unlocks unlimited coaching for an extra boost throughout your day. The app is full of amazing resources and completely customized to you and your personal goals. Fabulous has been helping to keep me on track to reach my daily goals from drinking water, doing yoga, and doing my afternoon walk. Start building your ideal daily routine. The first 100 people to click on the link in the description box will get 25% off a Fabulous subscription. Thank you so much to Fabulous for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into our planty day. Okay, we're gonna start off by filling up my humidifier. This is definitely something that I try to stay on top of and do every day. I'm pretty good about it. Um, but yeah, it definitely runs dry probably within like 20 hours. So it is a daily task for me. So I do just fill it up with tap water. I know distilled is recommended, but I've always just used tap. I feel like the water quality is pretty good where I live. It doesn't leave any spots on my plants or anything like that. It's actually been pretty cold here lately. Sunny, but cold. Well, cold for us is like four degrees Celsius, but regardless, I've had the heat on, so the humidity is struggling a little bit in here, so it's extra important for me in the winter to be running my humidifier. It's also beneficial for me. I love running it, especially when I'm sleeping. I just feel like it really helps to keep my skin hydrated and glowy, so yeah, love that. Can't have the dry air in here for me or the plants. We've got my rainbows going on the wall right now. Do you see it? Look how pretty, I love it so much. Let's move this. Okay, so the next thing that I do, I try to do every day is watering my moss poles. So I have my little squeeze bottle. This is what I typically use. Some of them are gonna need to be watered in the shower because they're due to be watered today anyways, but the ones that aren't, I'm just gonna go touch up with my spray bottle. 
I'll be honest, I usually get around to this every two days. I try not to push it any longer than that because I'm really trying to stay on top of it because I don't want my moss poles completely drying out. That was a plant goal for me this year. So walk around with my squeeze bottle. Let's go see who is dry. Also, just to note that I am using fertilizer water most of the time when I do this. So I'm just gonna top up my bottle. I have fertilizer water in here. Okay, so the first one I know I want to touch up is my Alba Monstera. Oh, it's actually pretty moist. I'm just gonna add a little bit into here. This is one of my self-watering moss poles, so it's really easy to maintain. I love these so much. They're from Trofolia, if anyone is interested. I have a few of them. This is one that I really try to keep up on because it's one of my favorite plants um, and I just want those aerials to be living in the moss basically. So this one is relatively new. It hasn't attached yet. Um, I added a piece of tape right there. As you can see, she's working on a new leaf, which I have been posting about on Instagram stories um, pretty aggressively. <laughs> so pretty though it's just starting to open up so I'm very excited to see it it's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be like it looks quite small but sometimes they expand a lot when they come out so um, hopefully that's the case either way it's a gorgeous leaf so it doesn't really matter how big it is I also wanted to add that while I'm going around with my squeeze bottle and doing my moss poles I will also um, top up any water propagations that I see that need water so I see I have my silver sword right here, but I don't think it really, yeah, it's pretty much full to the top. It looks like I'm losing one of them. Um, is that a thrip larvae? I literally just sprayed this not long ago. That's so annoying. Might not be. Maybe it's just a speck. I think it's just a speck. Um, anyways, let's take a look. I like to just kind of check the progress. I don't look at it every day, but fun to check while we're going around. Don't really see any root progress. <laughs> okay, we'll put that guy back and we will proceed. This philodendron McDowell is just looking stunning in the sun right now. Look at that new leaf. Oh, I'm so excited to see that one too. New leaves are the best, especially on my larger plants. It's just so exciting. That's kind of something that I go around and check on in the morning as well when I'm going and admiring all of my plants. I love to just check on the progress of new leaves that are coming in and if they're stuck giving them a spritz of mist or anything like that. Everybody just looks so pretty in the sun right now. I can't, I can't stop showing you guys how gorgeous. Look at this new leaf coming in as well on my subpanata. So cute. All right, so as for moss poles out here, this philodendron Brazil needs to be watered, so I am going to be wetting this one in the shower um, in a bit. But down here, these ones, they were all watered uh, a couple days ago now, so I won't be showering them. So I will just touch anybody up who feels dry. This is pretty moist, but I will still just add a little bit of water. Sorry, the fan is noisy in here. This is another self-watering one that we have and it's already starting to get a bit dry. As you can see, uh, the sun does come in to like the top, I don't know, third or quarter of this cabinet, uh, which I really like. That's why sometimes I get comments asking why I don't like put something along the back, but I like that it's just open glass because the sun can come through. Like this guy is soaking up the sun um, all day on sunny days, which is really nice. But anyways, that's why this pole is drying out so fast, especially at the top there. So I am just going to top it up. You can see the beginnings of a new leaf coming in too. It's very exciting. These come with a funnel that you're supposed to use, but I'm always too lazy and I just use my squirt bottle. So sometimes it's a little messy, but it's not bad. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go around to the rest of the moss poles. I can already see that this is getting dry. It's right near the fan too, so. If you look here at this one, this has a beautiful, healthy white root there. Oh, it looks so good. So the goal is to keep the roots alive and healthy like that, rather than like shriveling off, like you can see the end of this one where it dried out. Um, yeah, because then they're gonna be able to uptake water and nutrients and contribute to the growth of the plant. Yeah, this is my medium, medium silver. I love it so much. Working on a couple of new leaves for me, finally. Can't wait to see those come out. Okay, there is somebody up here who needs some water in their vessel, so just topping that guy up. Now, I actually have a few plants that are gonna need to go in the shower. I need to water this guy, my Splendid, my Campo, these moss poles are both dry and the plants are due for watering themselves, so it's a shower day for them. I think I might even haul my Monstera dubia into the shower. I do that occasionally. Most days I just um, water it with the squirt bottle on the moss plank, but it might be a shower day for him as well because I think he's pretty thirsty and the whole thing could just use a good drenching. Um, actually, I might only drench it halfway because it's kind of pointless to have the top wet and it just makes it like really heavy and unstable um, and then also I have two moss poles in the Mills Boat Hall that need to be um, watered uh, moistened and the plants need to be watered the Alchoco and the Viracosum so we are just going to take all these plants into the shower and give them give them a good drench oh and and the Brazil I <laughs> can't forget about the Brazil too okay I'm just um getting my lunch ready right now I haven't done that watering yet I'm just gonna Take a quick lunch break but i just wanted to chat with you um for a second while i butter my bread here i just wanted to say that i don't do all of these things on a set schedule every day um i used to be like pretty specific with just doing my plant chores in the morning and then my whole thrips thing happened and i ha was having to do the treatments at night so i was kind of shifting my plant care to the evening and there are still some things that are like evening only plant care things which I'll get to um, towards the end of our day but now I just kind of do things however they fit into my schedule like right now my mornings are pretty me focused I do my yoga and um, all of my other uh, like mental health things that I'm trying to fit into my day so I'm I find that I'm not doing as much plant care right in the mornings as I used to so for watering I kind of do it whenever um, whenever it works in my day I'm having leftover chickpea curry. This looks massive, but honestly, I'll probably eat it all. And I even added a piece of bread. Anyways, I say all this to say that whatever works for your schedule, you don't want plants to just be like this giant stressor that you're trying to keep up with in your life. And I know sometimes it's like that, like we all fall behind on plant chores, but for the most part, it should be something that is enjoyable, relaxing, is like a fun activity that you go to when you have the time. So for me, the things that are really important are like maintaining the environment, so the humidifier, um, making sure all the grow lights are on, and then uh, secondary to that, my priorities are making sure my moss poles are moist and also just giving everyone a once over. I don't even do that every single day. I do it most days just because I enjoy it. Um, but other than that, I'm very flexible with fitting things into my day. I feel like I used to kind of structure my days around my plants and now I kind of 
structure my plants around my days. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I'm gonna go eat this now. <laughs> Okay, I always take everything out of my tub. Usually I do this first, but let's get it out now. My pillow, I make sure that the curtain is out of the tub. Okay, so I just turn on the water to like a lukewarm and then I usually just control the sprayer. I don't have a uh, detachable head. That'd be so nice if I did, but I don't. So yeah, I just kind of control it and spray all these guys and spin them around so that I get all sides of the poles saturated. They are all very well watered, the moss poles are saturated, and what's really nice about this is because it, it does several things at once. So you're cleaning off the leaves, which is really important for removing dust so that they can get like maximum photosynthesis and also for preventing pests. And then you're of course watering the plants. Uh, I'm also fertilizing because these plants all have a... Uh, what's it called slow release fertilizer in them and we are moistening the moss poles so we're getting a lot done just by one shower so i am just going to leave them in here for a few minutes while they kind of drain so i'm not tracking water everywhere and um, in the meantime i'm going to get ready to water the rest of my plants that need to be watered today Okay, so I usually do my watering in sections. So each day I will do a different section of my home. So today the section that I need to water is my Millsbow Tall. I know probably not every plant in it is gonna be due for water, but I just check them all and water any thirsty ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up my fertilizer. Actually, we have some in here. So I'm gonna use the rest of what's in this watering can and then I'll make some more fertilizer water. I'll show you what I've been fertilizing with recently because I'm experimenting with something different, which is fun. So I'm gonna go grab the plants that need to be watered, bring them over here to the kitchen, and um, yeah, we can start getting her done. So when I'm watering plants, it's always a good opportunity to just kind of give them a good inspection, make sure that there aren't any pests, um, nothing funky going on. This is my philodendron glorious and it's just so beautiful look at this new leaf coming out i love it so much i'm getting ready to film this clip this is behind the scenes but i thought i would add it in here anyways because this is kind of part of my plant <laughs> routine is i have to do the dishes in the sink before i water my plants because I water a lot of my plants in my kitchen sink and i can't have dishes taking up all the space so I'm just quickly drying the ones that were sitting on the counter. Okay, we're good. Let's resume with our watering. I usually have a system where I water them in this first sink and then I let them drain in the second sink. And then once they've drained for a couple minutes, then I move them over to the um, dish towel. <laughs> so I guess I'll probably just speed up um, the footage of me doing this and put some music over top. So enjoy some watering. So I also utilize this watering time to remove any 
yellowing leaves like we have here on my Alocasia Michaeliziana. I think I might be able to just pull this one off because it's pretty, pretty far gone. There we go. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, so I'm down to the last two plants that I need to water, which is my Alocasia Dragon Scale and my Alocasia Michaeliziana. And um, I'm fresh out of my fertilizer water, so I am gonna make up another batch just because I know that they will really appreciate the feed. So I will show you what I am currently fertilizing with. Okay, so I've been doing this for maybe 10 days now. Um, so I am back on my General Hydroponics Flora series. So there's three that you mix together, there's like a specific way to do it. I've shown these before in my LECA video from a while ago. Um, that's the only thing that I used these for. Back in the day when I had a few LECA plants, I would fertilize with this and they've just been sitting in my cupboard for like the past year. And then the other day I saw TikTok that somebody started using this on their soil plants and all of their plants have new leaves and look amazing. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to try this as well. It's funny because I'm just um, noticing that they have this on the bottle and I don't know why I just didn't think that you could use these for soil plants, but I guess you can. So yeah, it's kind of experimental at this point, which is really fun. I like to just switch things up every once in a while. So I'll definitely let you guys know um, how it's going and how all of my plants are enjoying it. Oh my goodness, this one is spilling. What the heck? You do have to mix these up in a specific order. Just gonna add some water first. And then you start with the micro. I've just been doing a half a teaspoon of, um, of each, which is what I calculated for the amount of water this watering can holds. Actually, that's a lie. I calculated less, or sorry, more. So this is like a smaller, this is just a fraction of what like the full recommendation is. And I always rinse it off between, add some more water. And then I go in with this one next. I don't think the order matters after that first one, but I just always do it in this order. And then lastly, Flora Bloom. I'm really glad that I'm like putting these back to use because they were just sitting in my cupboard and I don't like wasting things, so I need to use them up. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be doing my Alocasia last, my dragon scale, and guess what, you guys? We have a new leaf on the way, again. Oh my, this thing is such a beast already. And the little babies are doing pretty well in here. There's one, and then here's the other. This one's a little bit bigger, but they're both doing great. I potted those corms in there, or I sprouted those from corms and then repotted them in there um, not too long ago, maybe like six weeks ago. So water this guy through. It wasn't super dry yet, so I'm just gonna water it through once. And then my fried egg, this is actually quite dry, probably a little too dry. Got some droopy, droopy leaves there, but that's fine. It is putting out new growth for me too, a lot right now. All right, I just put all the plants back in their spots, which was pretty uneventful, so I didn't film it. Um, there are a couple more things that I wanted to do tonight that are like evening things, so I will catch up with you guys in the evening. 
Okay guys, hello, I am back. It is the evening, I just had a bath. As you can see, sun's gone down. We have the evening vibes going. And I just wanted to pop on, I don't have much left to do, but I just wanted to talk about things that I do in the evening. And I will show you because I do have a couple of plants that I will demonstrate on. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do that luckily I am not having to do as often is spray down my plants for thrips or for any pest really. I usually always do it in the evening because if you spray your plants with pretty much anything, like anything that makes the leaves shiny, especially something that's oil-based, if you spray your plants with that during the day and they're under a grow light or getting hit with the sun, then they're gonna be at a really increased chance of leaf burn. So you just gotta be careful for that. That's why I do it in the evening. So the thrips are pretty much gone in my house, thank the Lord. Um, but I am a little bit suspicious of this right here, this staghorn fern. It's just had some weird damage and it just hasn't looked very happy. I did spray it for thrips only once before because I wasn't sure how the leaves were going to react. The texture of staghorn fern is really, it has like a fuzz on it. So I just, I just didn't know if it was going to be a good idea, but it was fine. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it again. Um, so I'm going to take him to the shower and we will do a Dr. Doom spray together. When I had my thrip outbreak, like when I was in the throes of that, I was having to spray so many plants every night. It was so exhausting. Oh my goodness, those were dark, dark times, my friends. Okay, so this one still has some in there. Okay, so this is what I have been using. Works really well in my experience. There's really not a ton of options here in Canada for um, thrips or pests and treatment in general. So this is what I'm using. You just have to be somewhat consistent with it and it works. <laughs> okay. So I literally just spray it. Okay, I'm just gonna spray her down. Oh. Okay, I'm glad that's done. Not my favorite job, you guys. Not my favorite job. Okay, I's just gonna let that, oh, the light's still on in here. I'm just gonna let that, ugh, I don't like to be around here after that's sprayed. <sighs> okay, after that is done, I am <sighs> just going to let that um, sit for a little while in there until it's not like dripping. And then that's it, I'm just gonna hang it back in its spot. But the second thing that I will do in the evenings, again, I don't do this every day. I shouldn't even be putting this in this video because this is more of like a bi-weekly thing that I do. I don't know why I'm trying to like cram it into here, but I just wanna emphasize that it's better to do this in the evening. Anyways, we're just gonna do it because I've already um, started talking about it. It's just my orchid mist. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I am on this orchid mist kick for my Hoya. So in the evening, probably once a week or every two weeks, I will spray some of my Hoya. Or sometimes I just do it like, I'll do some of them this day and then the next day I'll do a few more. And then it's just kind of random um, how I spray this. I don't really do anything on a schedule except for watering my moss poles. I try to do that every day. But anyways, I'm just going to be spraying my Hoya Shepardii because he is really on a roll here, you guys, with his new leaves coming in. Sorry, I know it's dark here. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna spray him. And then, then we're almost done for the day. Okay, so again, just gonna chill in there for, I don't know, half an hour or so, and then I'm gonna put him back in his spot. All right, that's it, you guys. We have accomplished everything on our plenty agenda today. Thank you so much for coming along with me. The only thing I have left to do is turn off my grow light that's left on, I suppose. Um, the ones on timers shut off at 5 p.m. 
they I just adjusted them the other day they actually run from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. now so 11 hours which is a question that I get sometimes um, and then the other one that I control it just I just turn it on and off I don't know just kind of random not randomly but not at like an exact time every day I just turn it on sometime in the morning and then I turn it off sometime in the evening been a journey I'm feeling good that my plant chores are caught up Thank you so much again to Fabulous for sponsoring this video. Once again, the link will be in the description box if you are interested in checking out the app. Other than that, I guess I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Can't wait to chat with you. Um, also, make sure you like this video and make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you aren't already. Okay, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.